Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I don't expect others to think like I do, and I don't uh, expect others to think that I should think the way they do. Uh, we all have our way of processing information, and we also have uh, different um, methods of getting our information, or we have our personal experiences, um, and uh, all this together with our way of saying things and our intellectual honesty, we reach certain conclusions on certain issues. Now we have this garbage in Israel, what's going on over there. Why well, is garbage? Because people die, civilians die. If the military uh, kill one another for some idiots, that's a little bit different, obviously, a little bit big. So we have this uh, crawler that's how i call this guy and this guy is this this crawler this is the lowest of the lowest i got to to he just proved to me after the part two of in the interview he conducted with andrew tate in bucharest romania not that i love andrew tate um but anyway <laughs> i have many many good things to say about andrew tate about this guy this he's a crawler he's a crawler that's what he is so this guy interviewed uh, Professor Norman Finkelstein, or Fink Finkelstein. If you don't know who that guy is, he's a, 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 a very intelligent and very well-read person. He's a, a Jewish. Uh, his parents, his parents' families were killed in uh, concentration camps in the Second World War. So his parents were uh, Second World War uh, Holocaust Holocaust survivors. He wrote Finkelstein professor. Uh, <laughs> uh, he, uh, he was not given a tenure and the Paul University because Alan Dershowitz, some people say. If you watch that one in Democracy Now!, uh, you're going to find out why. So he wrote that um, Holocaust Industry, a book, and I read it. And he hates how certain people, according to Professor Finkelstein, take advantage of the Second World War Holocaust and uh, make money out of it, profit. And they use it for, according to Finkelstein, in certain ways. That's his uh, thesis, and he brings the his, I don't know, evidence that he's got. Now we have this Pierce Morgan, who interviewed uh, yesterday or today, I think it was, or yesterday, um, Norman Finkelstein, the professor, and as a weasel, a little bit more civilized, I would say, than he was with. Uh, he gave a little bit more uh, honor, or a respect to Dr. Finkelstein than he gave to, let's say, uh, Andrew Tate. And nevertheless, he was a weasel and uh, he tried to catch him with something. He, he's like a moralizer, he's like a priest who wants you to convert to his way of seeing things, which is the Israel thing. I've never seen anybody, anybody, even, even, even people really working for, let's say, the Israeli government or Israeli news or being like Pierce Morgan. I don't know what someone got on this one. But the disappointing, the disappointing fact here is that we got Douglas Murray. If you're not familiar with Douglas Murray, I like Douglas Murray very, very much. I never liked Pierce Morgan, but I like Douglas Murray very much. And somehow he has a reset when he talks about Israel. So this weasel here, the crawler, invites Finkelstein. Let me get there. That, uh, this guy in a minute. This guy invites this guy to talk. Finkelstein will talk. And then this crawler invites Douglas Murray to take a piece on Dr. Finkelstein, calling Dr. Finkelstein a sociopath and a uh, psychopath very bad very bad i'm very very disappointed with um douglas murray not with this crawler whatsoever so let's see partly um the the, the interview is about 24 minutes but i'm not playing the interview with um, uh, dr finkelstein i will play only that uh, minute uh, that's the end of the interview where dr finkelstein 
claims that he asked his parents what would they have done to the Germans, you know, because the Germans did what they did with their parents. And his, his uh, argument, uh, Dr. Finkelstein's argument, is that his parents, uh, because uh, they were, you know, his parents were killed and so on, they would never forget the German population, and that they would have approved, which happened, the carpet bomb bombing of German cities by the good allies. So his point is that Gaza is in the same boat and Gaza is a concentration camp and uh, you would expect, according to uh, Dr. Finkelstein, that the guys from the concentration camp hate the guards and the guys who have them in a concentration camp. Pierce, Pierce Morgan doesn't want to get that and is going to pass the ball to Douglas Murray who is going to uh, make some fallacies in my assessment, historical fallacies. He's uninformed and he just an, uh, makes an ad hominy attack on Dr. Finkelstein. Of course, I like Dr. Finkelstein. Of course, I like Douglas Murray. Of course, I don't like Pierce Morgan because there's nothing to like about that crawler. So let's go to the first video here with Dr. Finkelstein. This is the last, last uh, part of his interview with Morgan. And here it says, Dr. Finkelstein tells Piers Morgan, people of Gaza, Gaza, I'm quoting, have the right to hate Israel. That's what Finkelstein's end with. So let's go. I, as I'm able to. I once asked my late mother, I said to her, what was your feeling when you heard that the German cities were being terror bombed during World War II? the carpet bombing of the German cities targeting civilians. What was your feeling? And my mother's response to me was, quote, our feeling was, if we're going to die, we're going to take some of them with us. Now that's not the most morally elevated statement. I agree. And do I wish my mother had and my father had a heightened sensitivity to German civilian life, I suppose I would wish it. But I will tell you, Piers, to the last day of my parents' life, it was unthinkable that they would have a kind word to say about Germans. And it was unthinkable that I would ever quarrel with them on that point. Okay. I accepted, I accepted that given their life experience, they okay. had the right to hate the people who destroyed their lives. Okay. And the people Professor of Gaza have the right to hate the people who destroyed their lives. Professor Finkelstein, uh, thank you for the answer. So this was Dr. Finkelstein's last word. And then we're gonna, it's gonna switch to Douglas Murray. And Douglas Murray is going to be unlike Douglas Murray and he's very strange. I've never seen peers so uh, uh, regarding any subject but this one. And it's not about uh, the civilian, the Palestinian civilians over there, but it's about the Hamas uh, attack. That's what he's focused on. His history starts on October 7th, it ends two days after that, and that's it. Nothing else. Uh, well, that's, you know, um, I, I don't think he's that smart. Uh, I'm sorry, that idiot. So let's go now to see where... Oh, I got a... Hello, what's that? Okay. I don't know how I did that, but nevertheless. Here we have him, and he's going to invite Douglas Murray. Well, back uh, on our Sunday, that uh, was Professor Norman Finkel. Still listening to all that was Douglas Murray. Douglas, your response to that interview? Uh, several things. I I've followed the career of Norman Finkelstein for many years. Um, he's notorious for having destroyed his career by, among other things, weaponizing his parents being in the Holocaust to use his career to attack Israel in particular. Uh, I think all societies produce a type of sociopath and psychopath, and I do think that Norman Finkelstein is just such a person. If I could give just one example. He repeatedly in that interview referred to Gaza as a concentration camp. Gaza is no such thing as a concentration camp, and Norman Finkelstein knows that very, very well. 
every single Jew was removed from Gaza forcibly in 2005 by the Israeli government. In 2006, the people of Gaza had an election and they elected Hamas. Hamas proceeded to kill Fatah and other Palestinians who did not agree with Hamas. And if anyone is responsible for making Gaza into a prison camp, it is Hamas that uses places like the Shifa Hospital as torture chambers for Palestinians. Now, here's another oddity about it. He kept saying concentration camp about Gaza. Do you, peers know anybody who got out of a concentration camp in... I do. Just uh, read history. Just read... Uh, I, and also watch Hollywood movies. The Great Escape. It was a concentration camp, wasn't it? A prisoner camp? <laughs> Just kidding. No. All right, my friends. That's his argument. And calls Finkelstein a sociopath. He you, says he destroyed his own career using his parents. Well, he didn't destroy his career doing that. His career... Some people say it was after he called out Alan Dershowitz, the law professor from Harvard, in front of Democracy Now! Now that was a program, what was her name, Amy Whiteman, Whitman, Binman, Gutman, Lidman, something, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago. And then uh, some say Alan Dershowitz spoke with his friends and they denied the tenure of Finkelstein. And then Finkelstein went all rogue, uh, but he wrote the, as I said, the Holocaust industry before he lost the tenure. So he was already under the microscope of the eye of Sauron. Sauron. So I've never heard Douglas Murray so off subject. So far, I've never heard him off subject. I, I, Always heard him being uh, very logical, very clear, very, I don't want to say balanced, not balanced, but objective, very intellectual. Here, mm, maybe it's the first time when I see him so low, parroting the same thing, not taking into consideration other things. Uh, I don't have a problem with what he says here. For me, he revealed something I did not know, as Pierce Morgan revealed something I wasn't certain. Uh, and that is uh, their allegiance. And here it is, my friends. You go and watch this on your own. And I'm very disappointed with uh, Douglas Murray. Very disappointed with Douglas Murray. And uh, with the other one, yesterday for me, it was the stamp. He's a uh, crawler, my friends. And Dr. Finkelstein, uh, yes, he ruined his career because he didn't uh, walk the path he was supposed to. And the path, it seems like these guys are walking straight with full speed, especially the one on the left. Sorry. And I saw another interview between uh, Douglas Murray and uh, Jordan Peterson, who again is another guy who's keeping his mouth shut about the reason. He, he walks, uh, okay, path uh, like this. Um, and he's in collaboration with... Uh, uh, ben Shapiro, isn't he? In Daily Wire. Oh my God. So that's why when you look at these guys and you learn more about them and you see how, in my assessment, sometimes are so intellectually dishonest and cowards, uh, I'm thinking, you're afraid of something very, very powerful there. Very powerful. So when these guys say, well, victim that, victim that, anti that, anti that, you have intellectuals, Douglas Murray, you have uh, Dr. Uh, Jordan Peterson, they are walking the line. And this guy, Pierce Morgan, I had no expectations. He's a weasel. I knew, always knew he's a weasel. He's like this which direction the wind blows I'm gonna go and the wind is career recognition and how can you live like this unless you have no no ethics no morality no how can you live with yourself is either an understanding and if he's understanding what he's doing I think he's understanding he has no morality I think he's a sociopath but anyway what am I uh, to say here but we'll see Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.